Hi there, my name is Ha Gui Wang and this is my first video on YouTube. It is a demonstration of our Jigsaw Puzzle project. Last year I led a group of four to deploy this game playing website on a cloud server. Uh, however, the price of renting the server for another year was too high for the four of us to afford, so the website will expire in a few days. As a result, I decided to record this video to mark what we have accomplished as a team. As you can see, this is a Chinese website, but if we later have the chance to rebuild it, we do plan to introduce an international version. There are six games displayed on the front page. The upper three are selected by our team, and the rest are games generated from pictures uploaded by other users. Now let's choose one. I'll go for the first one here. When you choose a game, you enter the gameplay mode, where you can see the puzzle pieces located on the canvas in the middle of the page. When you modify the size of the browser, the canvas and puzzle pieces change accordingly, so the game can be played with all sorts of thermal devices, including computers, pads, and mobile phones. We designed three difficulty levels for players to choose from. The first one here, Sui Bian Wan Wan, means this is a casual game with about 25 pieces. And the second here, Xiao Mo Shi Jian, this means this game kills time with its about 50 pieces. And finally, we have Yan Hua Liao Luan, which is dazzling, with its about um, 100 pieces here. Here, I'll just settle for this one. To be honest, I am not a very good jigsaw puzzle player, and we believe that there are many people there just like me. So, we also designed multiple types of hints to help people with their games. First of all, I want to ask you a question. Do you remember the original picture? Well, I clearly don't. So, what should I do? Should I go back to the home page and check it out? Of course not. Here was the first option. This means to show the original picture. The original picture now appears in the middle of the page. This is actually the same size of the puzzle when it is completed, so I can simply arrange each piece to their exact positions, but that won't be uh, a well-played game, right? So we'll go for other methods. Hmm. Now, it is still a very difficult task for me to complete this puzzle. Uh, as we all know, when we face a difficult task, a trick is to start from the easier parts. In our case here, this means that we should start from the framework. But should I pick them out one by one? I don't think so. That's uh, too hard and too tedious work for me to do. I'll just simply select the second option here, which will only display the pieces of the framework, and the rest are not, cannot be seen now. So, we can now just uh, easily, uh, maybe not that easy, but we can now uh, get every piece in, get pieces to their correct positions. If you still don't think this is easy, um, we still have some pr procedures for you. But first, let us get rid of the original picture and bring back all the other pieces. You can see that some pieces they overlap with each other. This may cause you problems or trouble to move them around and see which piece you need now. However, this is nothing to worry about in our game here. You can simply click, I don't know how many times simply I've mentioned, the third button here and all the pieces except the ones you've already put together will be rearranged on both sides of the canvas. So now we have cleared out space for your half-completed blocks. I really don't have a hint now. I might need some other help. Do I get them now? If you're confused as I am now, don't worry, just click this light bulb. This is our ultimate weapon for you to fire. After you clicked it, 
these two pieces start flickering. This means that they are adjacency pieces and you should put them together. Let's see. Great. Now, two at a time, we are able to finish this puzzle. I believe there is nothing to stop you from completing it. Mm. But should I really finish it one by one? That is really a waste of time. So I am now introducing you to a brand new jigsaw puzzle playing mode, which we refer to as a magnetic mode here. There seems nothing different, but if you select a piece and drag it around, you will see that other pieces are automatically attracted to it and they are stuck together. This is just like a magnet. So that's why we call it the magnetic mode. In this way, I can finish it in no time. Uh, I hope. Still longer than I expected, <laughs> I'd say. Because I'm really not good at playing puzzles. But I have confidence to finish it in five minutes. Definitely. Um, there we go. Told you. Below five minutes, right? Mm. Now enough for the gameplay. Back to the home page. I said a few minutes earlier that three games below are customized from pictures uploaded by users. By clicking this refresh button, you can find different games provided by others. You clearly notice that the last one never changed. This is because we want you to upload your own picture and try it out immediately instead of refreshing it until you find your... Uh, sorry, this picture is not changing because um, it is catch aid here. Uh, so we don't worry about that now. There we go. Um, now I'll show you the procedure of uploading your own game. I recommend you to choose your picture first. I've got one here called demo.jpg, which is um, a picture of my high school classmates. So I'll just call it good old days here. And my name is Akwe Wang. Check this box and upload. There we go. Good old days. Ready for me to play. I think I'll leave that for later. I know there are still a lot of problems with the project, but overall, I think we've completed quite a good job. Yeah, I really think so. Thank you for watching, and sorry that you might not have the chance to try it out yourself. But if you are willing to, please like, subscribe, and follow to check out my later videos. This is Han Hui Wang. Bye-bye.